Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I did this feeding braid here. I did one off camera because I haven't done this style. Well, I've done it once before, but I haven't done it in a while. So I thought that I want to try it again. And that's the reason why, if you guys saw my um, natural night out video of how to stretch, you know, your natural hair out without using heat. That's the reason why I did that style because with this style, it's better to have your hair in, it, in its stretch state so that, you know, it's easier to work with, in my opinion. It's easier to detangle and all that jazz. So, and easier to blend into the hair. So, if you guys want to see me do the other side of my head, then just keep on watching. All right, you guys. So, first thing that you're going to want to do this isn't really a tutorial. Well, I guess you can say it's a tutorial. I'm showing you guys how to do it, but I'm, I wouldn't say it's necessarily the best way. It's just the way that I do it. So I just start by just combing my hair out. My hair has got a little tangled just from it being out throughout the day. And last night I didn't tie my hair up. So yes, so it's a little tangled. So just lightly detangle your hair, however you detangle it. If you finger detangle, if you detangle with a comb or brush, however, so I just start by doing this. And the two products that I'm going to be using today, I'm going to be using the Wet Lime Extreme Gel. And then I'm going to be using Cantu Leave-In Conditioning Cream just to add some moisture to my hair. I'm going to start, oh, I forgot the other product, hold on. And I'm also going to be using this Lush Jam Extra Hold just for a little bit more security as far as my part is concerned. First thing I'm going to go in with is the wet line. And I'm not even going to lie to y'all. I use a lot of this to get my hair slicked down how I wanted it to be. So depending on you know, the coarseness of your hair or, you know, texture or how slick you want it to be, it will determine how much and what products you use. So these products seem to work the best for me as you can see it slicked my hair down really good and it still gave it a natural look which i'm here for so i just figured that i would show you guys i'm just adding this gel all the way down the part parting area and i got that nice and slicked down And then I go with this fine tooth comb and I just comb through where I put the gel just to make sure that it's nice and flat. And I'm gonna go with my Lush Jam. So the hair that I'm using, it's open, so don't mind that, is the uh, Free Tress Braid. So it's two, four, it's six packs that come in here. And I got this in the color four, even though my hair is black. Um, I, I, I had this hair laying around the house, so I just decided to use it. It shouldn't be that much off. So we're using this today. I'm only gonna be using two of those packs to do this style. I used one pack for this side, and then I'm gonna use one pack for this side. So I'm gonna go ahead really quickly and separate the hair, and then I'll be right back. All right, y'all, so I have all the hair split into pieces. Oh, and I did forget to mention that this hair is pre-stretched as well. So, yeah, I like to get pre-stretched hair. It gets rid of majority of the work. So I have seven pieces here, and I go from smallest, and then when I get to, like, about here, they are, like, the same size pretty much, just because I'll just be adding on pieces to the back of my head. So this is what we got. I'm just pulling out a little piece in the front just to start off the braid. I don't really know if that helped at all. I wanted to bring you guys in closer, but so you guys can see 
Now, I'm gonna say this now. This isn't a, a braiding tutorial. This is more so just me, like I said, showing you guys how I did the style of myself. So just a little disclaimer for anyone. Now, if you guys do want a braid tutorial, I could definitely get that out for y'all, but that's not what this video is. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start off my braid. And I do braid a bit of a ways down before I start adding hair, just because it gives it a little bit more of a natural look. So. All right, so I'm gonna go in with my first piece of hair. And what I pretty much do is I connect it with my index finger and then I pull, I connect one piece to my index finger and then I connect the other piece to the top of the braid. And then I just keep on braiding. connected I'm gonna go in with my second piece there's really no rhyme or rhythm as to when I add the pieces in I just whenever I really feel like I need a piece I'll go ahead and just add it so here I'm going in with the second piece same thing I'm just connected it to my middle finger my index finger and then I'm placing the other piece right on top now this hair really isn't the best hair to work with to braid with but it's what we got so gotta make do with what we got i'm gonna go in with another piece and do the same thing so I'm, my index finger is here so what i'm doing is i'm taking the hair and i'm putting it right under my index finger and then i'm just connecting it just like that one piece is under one piece is over and then I just continue to braid. I'm gonna go on with another piece here. Same thing, just with the diff my left hand instead of my right. All right, so when you get to the end, you just wanna go ahead and add some more product. All right, you guys, so this is the finished look of everything. I laid my edges on this side and did my little curls or whatever. So yeah, guys, this is what I came up with. It actually goes all the way down to my waist. And this is what the back looks like, y'all. I love them. It ain't perfect, don't drag me. I had these little jewels because of the parts that were not like all the way tucked in so yeah <laughs> anyways if you guys did enjoy this video be sure to give me a thumbs up don't forget that's just don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below it's free you guys comment down below also anything else that you guys want to see from me i'm trying to get these videos out for you guys so yeah hopefully you enjoyed this video and i'll see y'all next time bye